My name is Martin. I'm the CEO of SirTab. We manufacture tablet PCs here in Haiti. In the beginning, to be honest, many people have trouble believing that we were doing this. Tom's is a global one-for-one -one business, and for every pair of shoes that we sell, we give a pair to a child in need. We have committed to producing shoes locally in Haiti and also supporting the growth of a sustainable shoe industry. In this building, what you can see behind me, we're constructing a new packaging line. Brana was founded in 1976 and in 1986 Heineken has taken a minority share. In 2011 the chance came to acquire a 100% share, which is right now the case. We've been an investor in Haiti since 2005. We initially committed $140 million to build a cellular network across the country, a national network. Since then we've invested about another $900 million. We have 112 employees. I believe that 111 are Haitians. The fact that Heineken has purchased uh, Brana is a testament uh, to the human resources and the Haitian workforce. Amazingly, post the earthquake, within a day or two, all our staff were back at work trying to help rebuild our networks and get back into business. One of the reasons high-tech manufacturing is, is uh, good in Haiti is that the quality of staff are able to recruit. What we saw is that we were able to train people up in less than a month, roughly three weeks. Prestige uh, has won two um, World Cup medals in the American uh, cream lager style. It's really a testament to the work that has been done in, uh, in Haiti with Prestige to be able to get that award. In this room we can produce 10,000 tablets a month. We have 30,000 square foot of warehouse that way. We anticipate to be able to fill this building and maybe at some stage move up to Caracol or to some of the bigger facilities available in Haiti. Here we are in the Caracol Industrial Park, which will be the biggest industrial park in the Caribbean. Here we manufacture garments which export to the US market. With the second factory just opened, we employ nearly 2,000 Haitian workers. The factory is in Port-au-Prince, just a few miles outside of the airport in a new free trade zone. There is a willing and able workforce in Haiti that provides a strategic gateway to the Americas. So we are really looking forward to working in Haiti and creating many jobs in the years to come. To start a business in Haiti, especially the in the touristic sector, the government really helps you out. It really provides you with a lot of incentives. The Haitian Investment Code is very proactive and gives um, investors the possibility of uh, having franchises on their raw materials for a certain number of years, as well as um, corporate tax breaks. For example, for this particular hotel, we're tax-free for about 15 years which is a very, very big incentive for any businessman that want to invest anywhere. Tax break on, on corporate taxes, uh, on any employee uh, taxes, um, on import and export duties. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's definitely something that helped us make the decision to move into here and to do it here. I think Best Western joined us on this great effort because AD now is so much more stable and safe. I can feel it in the last four or five years, there's been a, a, a gradual improvement and a drastic improvement actually in security. For the past two years I've lived and worked in Haiti. I can tell you it's a pleasure to work here. Uh, if you go to my house, I don't have a wall around it, I have a fence around it. You know, I, I, I leave my doors open at night. I would encourage all investors out there to come and join us in Haiti and to invest because Haiti is a great place to invest right now. Philanthropy is what brought Toms to Haiti. But what will keep us in Haiti is business. There's no doubt about it that Haiti is open for business. Haiti is open for business. We are open for business.